Welcome to a special edition of the Andrew Womack Video Newsletter, your source for all of the first looks behind the scenes and inside stories taking place all around the world. I'm third year media school graduate, Jessica Giamo, and today we're giving you a special tour of the newest building to our Colorado campus, the auditorium. Now, let's go check it out. Underneath the large portico shear, we can fit four cars side to side and six cars end to end on top of heated concrete that helps keep snow and ice from building up in the winter. Let's go take a look inside. Here we have the reception area of the auditorium building. Andrew and Jamie were personally involved in the design process, including the building materials, its mountain decor, and even the placement of the Dove logo in the floor. They also helped design the terrazzo flooring that stretches across 45,000 square feet around the building. All of the wood you see is real. Even the posts are wooden logs that have been split in two, hollowed out to allow for the insertion of a steel beam and then put back together. The concourse has an upper and a lower level and can seat around 1,200 people for in-between classes and conference events. One of our Karis Bible College graduates, David Larson, saved this ministry a lot of money when he designed a virtual tour of this building, enabling Andrew to make decisions on details before construction began. Andrew even changed the wall colors because of this video, and the main staircase was moved over to allow for more space. Through here is our bookstore that has Andrew's teachings as well as materials from our guest speakers. This also serves as our student services room during the Karis Bible College school year. Andrew designed the two-story waterfall so that the slate tiles would layer a quarter of an inch, making the water bubble and keeping the noise level down. Its pump runs 24 hours a day seven days a week and draws very little electricity. There's a salt water mixture that's used to keep the water clean without giving it a strong chlorine smell. All of the moss rock you see is real and was hand laid by our construction team on site. Behind me are two entrances to the phase one building known as the barn. While this floor is the main floor to both buildings, the barn also has a lower level while the auditorium has an upper level. There are four cafe stations in this building, two on the main floor and two upstairs that are open during Kara's school hours as well as during our special events. There are about 2,200 mailboxes for staff and students and Andrew had 110 women's toilets installed in the auditorium building alone. The corridor that runs behind the auditorium is where you'll find some of our third year programs, including our Creative Arts School, Worship Arts School, and the School of Practical Government. Although students officially graduate Karis after their second year, a third year is offered to equip students in a variety of platforms so that they can go out and take the gospel message further than ever before. Behind me is the west entrance to the auditorium, and this balcony stretches all the way across the south side of the building. Behind me is our Karis Legacy Wall that represents just a portion of the students who have gone through Karis and are now out changing their world. You may even recognize some of the names. Here's another look at our waterfall from above. And behind it is one of two cafe stations that are located up on the balcony. If you come visit our campus for any of our special events, 
it's safe to say you won't go hungry. Here we have another view of Pikes Peak, as well as the first phase of our building project called the barn. We also have plenty of overflow seating available, as well as television monitors that show what's going on in the auditorium. Through here, we have about 70 Keras offices. This is where most of our Keras staff works, including our instructors, coordinators, and everyone in between who help make Keras Bible College a reality. This conference room is also used for Andrew's live Bible studies, where Andrew and Gez share a teaching from the Word and answer questions live every Tuesday night. To join in on the next one, visit awmi.net slash Bible study. Through here, we have a break room area for our Keras staff. And on the other side is a break room area for our phone center. We keep the two separated so that once our phone center reaches 24 hours a day, five days a week, we can keep these other doors locked while the phone center is still in use. Through here, we have our Andrew Womack Ministries Phone Center, where we are currently able to have around 144 people taking calls at a time. But most people may not know what all ministry happens in here. Alongside our prayer ministers, we also have people who take crisis calls and customer service calls for people who are needing help ordering product or signing up for Keras. We also have staff who are answering doctrinal questions responding to emails and social media posts, sending out teachings through our prison ministry, and even sending over questions to Andrew's live Bible study and Truth and Liberty livecasts. And out the back, we have an entrance to Andrew's newly finished parking garage. Andrew's 336,000 square foot parking garage is five stories tall and can park 1,085 cars. There are three outside entrances and exits like this one, located on levels one, two, and three. Now let's take the elevator down to level two. As you walk through the parking garage, you'll notice beautiful murals that have been painted by some of our Keras students. Through here, we're back to some of our third year classrooms that are located behind the auditorium, including our School of Practical Government. This also happens to be where we film Andrew's Truth and Liberty live cast every Monday at 6 p.m. Mountain Time. For more information or to tune in, visit truthandliberty.net. While this auditorium can seat around 3,200 people, it was designed so that no matter where you're sitting, it still has an intimate feeling. During construction, this entire room was covered in scaffolding to allow the crew to put up the white clouds that cover the ceiling. 
On November 3rd, 2018, Andrew dedicated the auditorium building alongside Kenneth Copeland and Jesse Duplantis as people gathered together to celebrate the miracle of the sanctuary property. None of these buildings would be here today if it were not for the faithful support of our friends and partners who have stood by Andrew for many years to see his vision become a reality. As we look forward to the future, we here at Andrew Womack Ministries and Karis Bible College want to say thank you for enabling us to raise disciples who are going out and changing the world with the gospel.